How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the next episode. Take a look at this. We are moving full speed ahead with finishing up this carpet project. You can see over here on the left, we've started to apply the contact cement on both surfaces, one being on the back of the carpet, and then also underneath here. It's just a little five inch strip, nothing too crazy. I'll tell you what, cutting all this is a pain. Boy, is it a pain. Take a look in there. I'm trying to get that measured out and cut. Not too easy. Not to mention this little guy up here. So this one wasn't too bad. All I did was measured from that edge to the front, added about an inch, and then the widest part, as you can see right there in the bottom left and bottom right, I went and measured those out as well, and then basically used a exacto knife to kind of trim along the edges. Came out pretty good. Not bad at all. Not bad for a 1994 boat. What? What do you think? And you can kind of see in here as we got the seats removed. You can see we have carpet exposed in there. Pretty nice. Nice little touch. This way if you ever need to uh, get in here and clean it, you got a nice look in there as well. And then you can see here we've applied the carpet for the ski locker. This one I, I traced off the original. And I'm not too, too happy about it because you can see a little bit of carpet exposed there. I like to use it off of a straight edge, so I'm probably going to take this back out and recut that, make it a little bit straighter, just because it's going to be in a pretty common area where people are going to be able to see it. Here's one side that I've already put in place. Kind of like what we are matching up on the other side, as you can see. And then over there is where essentially three separate pieces of carpet meet up. Made it work, but pretty good. What do you all think? All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is finish applying some more of that contact cement here. Got about 20 minute working time before it dries. And then to finish this off, you can see there's a little bitty piece of exposed Kevlar in the side of the, the hole. I'll probably get a little piece of stick in there as well and also to match in there just to make it have that nice little uh, touch there in terms of carpet. So, all right, so let's go ahead and secure this in place and then I will go ahead and put the contact cement. As you can see, it's not all the way, um, it's just basically cut. It hasn't been glued in place yet. So I'll go ahead and finish this side first and then we'll finish up here get these two little pieces oh and not to forget we gotta clean up the ski locker and I think that's gonna be it I'm gonna let this all dry and we should be good with carpet pretty happy about that okay got the glue installed the only thing I'm not really like too super excited about is I tried to match this seam up as close as I could and I still couldn't get it perfect. Now, some thoughts that I've been thinking, and let me know what you think, but I'm probably going to do it anyway, is run a strip of aluminum across that seam and throw probably like maybe three screws through it. And that is the area where the ski locker is. So, having screws go through that part of the floor really doesn't bother me, especially if it's just for aesthetic purposes but yeah let me know what you think what would you do in this situation because I mean the seam is okay it's not that big of a deal but it because it's in such a common area it's just not as clean as what I'd like to see so anyway leave some comments in the comments field below let me know what you think about it but likely I'm probably gonna get a thing of aluminum uh, maybe one inch run it across that uh, seam throw some screws in it be a lot cleaner. All right, and now our little piece of five inch carpet installed up there. Looks good, nice and clean. So all we have left now is we just gotta get a piece to put in that corner. And in that corner, we'll let this dry and probably come back in here and 
with the vacuum. I tell you what, there's little pieces of carpet all over the place. Jeez, I tell you what, looks like a mess. But anyway, came out pretty good on that side. I like the uh, the carpet look. Same thing on that. It's pretty good. So anyway, three more pieces to go, and we're gonna call it good in here. Okay, a little bit of persistence. We got this ski locker carpet installed. You can see we've also put the little corner pieces in place. Same thing over here, looks pretty good. Now, I am, as I originally said, going to put a threshold here. I've been looking at it and thinking about it, and I said, you know what, it probably would make it look super clean if we can get that threshold in here but otherwise that is it for carpet we've got all the carpet on the sides installed ski locker inside here now I may throw some carpet inside the ski locker along the bottom but it's not necessarily something I'm uh, it's not like a must-have uh, right now I do have some extra carpet I probably will put it in there just so I can use it up but for right now you can see we straightened up that line on the ski locker, so it's a lot, a lot better looking now. So yeah, we're, we'll go ahead and let everything dry, but that's going to be part two in terms of the carpet install looks good. I'm going to let it all dry out here and then probably come back with a vacuum cleaner and vacuum everything up. So it says it dries in about 15 to 20 minutes, but I'll likely give it a lot longer considering. So anyway, hope you liked the episode. As always, hit that subscribe button, like the video as always, and if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments field below. Look forward to the next video series, hopefully, where we get to um, maybe installing the oil in the stern drive and perhaps starting it up. We'll see. So anyway, stay tuned. We will catch you on the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.